This is Vito Kicker at Transact Futures. Today I'll be showing you how to add a pivot point to the AT charting software. A pivot point is a technical analysis indicator or calculations used to determine the overall trend of the market over different time frames. The pivot point itself is simply the average of the high, low, and closing prices from the previous trading day. Now, the subsequent day, trading above the pivot point is thought to indicate ongoing bullish sentiment, while trading below the pivot point indicates bearish sentiment. The pivot point is the basis for the indicator, but it also includes other support and resistance levels that are projected based on the pivot point calculations. All these levels help traders see where the prices could experience support or resistance. Primarily, if the price moves through these levels, it lets the trader know the price is trending in that direction. The pivot point indicator can be added to a chart and the levels will automatically be calculated and shown. Pivot points are an intraday indicator for trading futures, commodities, and stocks. Unlike moving averages or oscillators, they are static and remain at the same price throughout the day. This means traders can use the levels to help plan out their trading in advance. For example, they know that if the prices fall below the pivot point, they will likely be shorting early in the session. If the price is above the pivot point, they will be buying. Support 1, Support 2, Resistance 1, and Resistance 2 can be used as target prices for such trades as well as stop loss levels. Combining pivot points with other trend indicators is a common practice with traders. A pivot point that also overlaps or converges with a 50 period or 200 period moving average or Fibonacci extension level become a stronger support resistance level. As you can see here on my screen, I have a basic December ES 30 minute chart loaded. What we're going to do is go ahead and add the pivot point study. We're going to come up and click on the word studies. And we're going to scroll through the list until we find pivot points. We'll go ahead and click on this. And you can see how quickly it adds the pivot points here to my chart. We can go ahead and click back on the word studies. And this time, a click under current studies on the pivot points itself. And you can see here the key box or formula box does come up. And I will list a formula key here for the description of these indicators here in the description box below this video. We can go ahead and change the resistance levels, the support levels. We can go ahead and change the colors. We're going here and click done. This has been Vito with Transact Futures showing you how to easily set up pivot points on the AT charting software. Make sure that you do go ahead and subscribe to this YouTube channel for future updates. Until next time.